It's time now for a little list on local sports and sports. All school sporting events rained out Tuesday, most likely going to be rained out today. Today's baseball game between Wayne and Richmond Hill has already been canceled for today. Rescheduled for tomorrow at 6.30. Currently scheduled for Richmond Hill, but Coach McDonald says after today's rain, they'll check the fields, and there's a possibility that game could be moved here to Howard, but Warren tomorrow, so we'll let you know tomorrow where that game's going to be played, but it's being called off for today, rescheduled for tomorrow, currently at Richmond Hill at 6.30 p.m. Statewide baseball rankings came out this week, and they update them each week. After a few weeks, here's the top 10 in high school baseball in 5A. Wayne County currently left out of the top 10. Harris County's ranked one, followed by Blessed Trinity at two. Loganville comes in at three. Greenbrier, four. Stars Mill, five. Northside Columbus, six. Calhoun, seventh. Cartersville, eight. Walnut Grove is ninth. And Ola rounds out the top 10. The double-A state poll is interesting. They've got Vidalia ranked number one. Love it. Ranked number two. Wayne County's beaten both those teams this season. Jeff Davis is ranked ninth in the double-A poll. Wayne County's defeated them. Pierce County's ranked 10th in the triple-A poll. We play them this Friday over at Pierce County. In 4A, Maris is ranked third. We saw them in Atlanta, and they're awfully good. They beat Parkview in the championship game of that tournament. George Peach Classic, Parkview currently ranked seventh in 7A. In 6A, ranked number one, of course, is University of Buford. Again, the statewide ranking is updated every week. We're in the month of March. Soon the conference tournaments in basketball will be held, and March Madness will soon be underway. Some college games last night, some good ones in overtime. Georgia Tech defeated Duke 81-77. Ole Miss down Kentucky 70-62. Alabama over Auburn 70-58. Arkansas over South Carolina 101-73. And Illinois beat Michigan in the Big Ten 76-53. The Class 5A Girls Basketball State Tournament got underway last night. A couple of games. Woodward moves into the Final Four. They defeated Southwest to Cab 70-59. Dutch Town into the Final Four. They beat New Manchester 51-47. Other matchups today, Hiram against Forest Park, Loganville against Griffin. In the boys' bracket, that gets underway today. The Elite Eight has Tri-Cities against St. Pius, Clark Central against Dutch Town, Chapel Hill against Veterans, Veterans against Stillman beating at 25-0, Eagles Landing and New Manchester against Veterans, the only team from our region left in the 5A basketball, basketball bracket. In case you missed it yesterday, 18 student athletes qualify for the state weightlifting competition, which will be held on March 13th at Jefferson County High School. Following Wayne County athletes qualified, Cole Driggers, Tariq Holmes, James Odom, Chris Pittman, Quincy Herrera, Ja Ross, Elijah Jones, Matthew Fuller, Ben Gross, Gray Davis, Jaden Tippins, Maddox Murphy, Demetrius Everett, Jackson Tinsley, Peyton Williams, Antonio Reese, and Antoine DeWeese, and Trevin Wallace. Trevin Wallace won his weight class at the qualifying meet, but again, they're all head to Jefferson County High School on March the 13th. And the, this coming Saturday is the Pine Forest Men's Golf Association's Winter Blues Golf Tournament. And yesterday they said that event is a sold-out event for this Saturday. Again, it's a three-person scramble, 27-hole, one-day event. Again, a full field, 30-plus teams, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start. Lunch will be provided. Again, that event sold out for this Saturday. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. sports.